Hello everyone, I want to show you how from the teacher side they will access the Literacy Act page. Now we'll ask for forgiveness here. I'm actually logged into a high school and just in how I have my pilot server set up. So just imagine that you're looking at your elementary classes as an elementary teacher. This is how you will go in. So you'll find your set of students and a lot of times in elementary schools, um, sometimes they're self-contained. So you might be the homeroom and every teacher of record for all the math, English, science, social studies in that case. All you need to do is pick the, the one class that that student is in. So let's pretend that this class right here is my homeroom class of kids that I teach all day long. Um, if you teach different kids in different Englishes, you know, whoever has that responsibility would need to go into the right class for the kids. But you're actually not going to go into Power Teacher Pro. You're going to come over here to the blue student information card because that is where the student screens that we see in the admin side lie for teachers to be able to update. So I'm going to click into the student information card. Here we have our list of students. So these are each of the students that I would need to update this information on. And we would just need to go down through the list. So I'm just going to pick Mickey Mouse right here to begin with. So you start out with this student screen that's kind of the default. When you do the drop down, notice that one of the pages that you have is your legislative acts page. So as a teacher, I'm able to come over here. just a second to load. I promise it doesn't usually take that long. You have the same screen as they have on the administrative side. So let's say that Mickey was a student who um, is receiving dyslexia services. So that guidance document that you received about who gets marked for what, you would follow that. So if he was, then I would mark him for that dyslexia service. If he had been screened and what intervention, you know, I would just go through and mark the correct information, um, displays characteristics. And just like on what's coming up, if this student uh, had a deficiency in, in testing and needed to be invited to summer reading camp, this is where we would record whether they were invited, whether they attended, whether the percent. And we know that this part down here can't be entered until after summer reading camp or, or when it's in progress. So you would just fill out that appropriate information. And if for some reason student, you know, and again, he's a 12th grader, but let's pretend he's a third grader. Um, if, he, if the student is going to be promoted, then we would have the promotion options of which one to choose. Um, and then if we had the retention options, you know, we would have those as well. So it's the same exact page as you see in the admin portal, but it does show up for those students in the teacher's roster. So they would submit that page and then they would just move on to the next student. And the good thing is once you select that screen, it stays there for all the students. So you would just need to make the choices and select. So this is how it would be facilitated inside of the Power Teacher portal for PowerSchool.